talk like that, but I did ask you yeah. for that. Absolutely. It was wild. Um, a bit too much? I mean, it's difficult for me to criticise because one, I'm a Canelo and Eddie Reynoso fanboy, obviously. Uh, but two, at the end of the day, um, Caleb Plant swung in. You know, I know Canelo pushed him, but it just, it was just like, and again, I don't want to sound like too much of a fanboy, but how cool is Canelo Alvarez? I mean, firstly, the geezer turns up like looking the absolute nuts. Secondly, a bloke's taking a swing at him. He's just, it's just an unbelievable slip counter, bang with a left hook and a little. I think he went for the bitch slap with a right hand, but I don't know if that worked out. And it was just embarrassing for Caleb Plant, to be honest with you. I mean, so embarrassing because he's gone everywhere. And I actually felt that like when um, when they when they eventually sat down for the press conference. I thought I felt like they were half ganging up on Canelo Alvarez. You had Brian Custer up there from Showtime, basically reading out tweets that Ka Caleb Plant had posted, like interrogating Eddie Reynoso and Canelo Alvarez. So in in that respect, I think that gave Canelo even more credit. He just pitched up with Eddie Reynoso on a, on a Caleb Plant and PBC promoted show, gave him a little tickle, and then basically just just dealt with the situation and moves on. Um, great build up for the fight. Can't wait to be there. I mean, it's going to be really lively. Um, but yeah, I, I felt I felt that I felt that uh, yeah, I felt like it was a bit of a half a setup, really, in, in the way that they put questions to him and stuff like that. But you know, I thought Canelo dealt, dealt with it fantastically well. And I thought, you know, I know Caleb sort of play, posted some pictures, didn't he? Saying, "Now look, my fingers touched his face." But let's be honest, he got absolutely owned. Those are the words of Eddie Hearn as he responds, of... as he responds to the brawl between Caleb Plant and Canelo Alvarez, and he said that <laughs> that Canelo absolutely owned Caleb Plant. Well, let's think about it for a minute. Um, I think it was. The lack of communication, I think, uh, Canelo heard mother, and then when he heard mother, he thought of his own mom. And I think that's what made him push him. Because, you know, I, I, I heard, and I'm not very good at reading lips or whatever, right? But I'm deaf as shit, so I should. <laughs> so, I mean, he, you heard Caleb saying, you know, I promise you, I promise you. I heard that from the side. I was like, okay, he's saying, I promise you, whatever he's going to do to him. And then, you know, Canelo's looking up. Yeah, 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 you know. And I think when he heard motherfucker, that would push him off. Because when he pushed him, that's what you heard Canelo Alvarez reiterate. Like, motherfucker, motherfucker, they don't fuck you, you know. <laughs> so then, you know, Caleb, you know, like, pulled that left, you know what I mean? And he wanted to slap him. That's what he really wanted to do, but like the counter was there. It was in fact, but uh, I didn't even know that Caleb put hands on him, but it shows you the reach that Caleb has, okay? And even though it wouldn't flush, and it wasn't, you know, because it was more like, you know, Canelo was like, ah, you know what I mean? And he grabbed him or whatnot, and, you know, and they all tussled for a second, and then they pushed him back, you know, and. It was a. It, I, I think Caleb should have took those damn glasses off because that scratch makes it look like he got into a scuffle and then Canelo got the best of him. Which Canelo didn't look bad because he got the first shove. Then he, you know, he got the counter. He got touched a little bit, but then he went for like to grab uh, Caleb, and then that's how the scratch got on him under his eye from the damn glasses frame. You know, and then Caleb shoved him back and then they all kind of jumped on there, you know, like, <laughs> like, you know, the cavalry came, you know, but, uh, but Eddie's right. I mean, he is a, you know, he, he does work with Canelo. So, you know, he's going to be team Canelo all the way. You know what I mean? So, of course, you would expect him to say something like that. But how truthful is it? You know, did Canelo own it? Well, what we saw was Canelo get pissed off and Canelo showing his very, very um advanced reflexes that's what we saw 
You know, I mean, he was quick with it. He didn't waste any time, and it was almost like, yo, that's why you don't want to fuck with a good boxer at a bar. You know what I mean? That That's why. Because a simple punch, a, a simple counter, bow, it's over for you. And then it will be a, a quick night. Now, look at that in the fight. You can see how those guys will team up. But you, you can see, like, the cockiness and the energy between both guys. It was... You know, it, it, look, it, I was hyped to see it. You know, I mean, I was eating, you know, when I first saw it and I was like, yo, I got to counter punch this now. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it was uh, it was off the chain. But him saying it was embarrassing for uh, Caleb Plant. Well, Caleb Plant, I don't think he got the best of it, you know, but like being owned, I wouldn't do that. Now, as referring to the setup questions, um, well, it is a PBC event, but it was in reference to what Caleb already said. So it wasn't that bad. Being a setup, no. I think what it is, I think Can Canelo Alvarez had to um, respond to the things that Caleb Plant said. And it was time for Caleb Plant to put the words in front of this man, like he said behind this man's back, about this man. And you have to give credit to Caleb for doing that. You know what I mean? Because recently we've seen other fighters that talked to some a gang of shit and then they got in front of that fighter and didn't say shit. Let's be real. But Caleb Plant did exactly and said exactly what he said about Caleb Plant on social media to his face. You know, I mean, you can only respect him at the end of the day. And I'm for Canelo on that because there's no room for cheating in the sport of boxing. And if you get caught, you suffer the consequences. I don't give a shit how much money you got, how good you are or whatever, because that could alter how people look at you and in, in, in the things you do in the ring anyway, if you need drugs to cheat. OK, so, you know, I don't think that that was a gang up on. No, I don't think that was at, at all. And, and Canelo did handle it well, but you can tell that was pissing him off. It pissed him off when Billy Joe Saunders did it, and it pissed him off again when Caleb Plant did it, okay? So there's no difference between the two. He does not like that subject. But the thing is, the last thing you want to do is put yourself in a situation where you're defending someone that didn't get punished. You know what I mean? That fight shouldn't have happened. Constant Sal should still be undefeated. He was robbed anyway. So not only did the fight not supposed to happen and you let the fight happen, you robbed the guy that you fought because the guy actually beat you. That's what made it worse. So it's a big shit show at the end of the day. But anyway, back to Eddie Hearn. You guys tell me what you think about him claiming that Canelo owned Caleb Plant. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.